Hello everyone, this is Super Comic Girl. I'm back with another video. So I do videos several times a week. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Alright, so um, I decided to wait a couple of months to actually review this um, comic. And I do have a couple other issues after this. So, one of the things that I like doing is getting first issues of new comics or if first issues of comics that feature returning characters that I had never read before. So, in that spirit, I'm doing a review for Janice Vell, Captain Marvel, issue number one, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right. So, uh, this is a character that was around for um, some time, uh, and I had never heard of him at all. And it's, um, it's just, it's really interesting. And we have, like, Tony Stark in the comic, and apparently he's back from the dead, which is uh, weird, because he's not back from the dead in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So I guess, <laughs> I guess... Yeah, you can be alive in the comics and be dead in the uh, in the uh, movie universe or something like that. So uh, this really is a little bit of a confusing kind of comic, uh, mainly because I'm not used to the character. Um, so you have this, you know, this, you know, he. Okay, so last year they were talking about the uh, the Giga bands. Let me see if I can. Um, the, the mega bands, the mega bands. <clears throat> so the mega bands, and that's them right here. Um, they actually only thing that they actually do for him is to keep his uh, powers in check. Um, and so these little alien creatures, they, they make fun of them and all that. Oh, you don't have the, the mega bands on. And he's like, they don't do anything except control my abilities. And they literally just like explodes. Which is really a dangerous ability. Um, so... I just want to say this. I really don't like it. So, yeah. So, uh, he's basically, you know, he's basically like trying to, like he has no memory or like he says that he got false memories implanted. I don't know how he could tell. Uh, there's some scrolls in this uh, issue, which was interesting. Um, but basically, you know, just it's just a very weird issue and i'm going to actually say i really did like this issue uh i it wasn't a super great issue so i'm only going to give it four golden stars um but it was enjoyable and it was nice to read a character read a comic that had a character that i had never heard of before but has been part of the Marvel Comet universe for a very long time. So, yeah. So, uh, I it's an, it's an enjoyable comic. It's not, I mean, it's not super, super great, but it's not super, super bad. It's just average. So, like I said, four golden stars. Um, but I did buy the other issues after this one. And when I finally get around to reading them, I will do reviews of those comics. So, I will be seeing you guys around. I hope you guys have a really great day, and until next time, nerds, read on. Bye.